In this video I'm going to explain you how to update from uh, old uh, version 3.6 or any other versions uh, prior to version 4 to the uh, version 4. Now um, the process it's kind of easy I mean there's no a special thing or something like this at least for the uh, file update I mean if you already have the advanced um, options where you can provide the team forest username and team forest API key and the updates will appear here for the team but you can do it manually and before that this is very important backup you have to make a backup uh, it doesn't matter that if there are errors problems or whatever it's just backup B always backup uh, on each update on uh, things could go wrong onto the server you could even get hacked and it's best to have your website backed up so you won't lose any of your precious uh, data now you might have uh, in case you're having uh, customizations into the um, let me just access the editor perhaps you're having a customization here into the main style.css well this is going to be a problem because they will be overwritten so you have to save all these and add them into the child team into the Kalias child team there's a entire video about this so you can watch it but um, like I said backup you have to backup I'm going to push and say and repeat this as much as possible uh, backup and if it's possible make the update on uh, uh, local host on your local host or onto a developer path or somewhere you can first st test to see if there will be uh, differences uh, between your live website and the new update because this new version brings uh, some uh, backward uh, compatibilities issues uh, sorry I meant it brings um, breaking changes and uh, it's uh, it's actually very important to um, to keep the website as it looked before but somehow the finishes the final touches and the overall uh, designed to be a bit more modernized like this uh, new uh, new design and also most importantly you will have the new page builder which is uh, fantastic you have to try it or at least look at some videos and see if you uh, if you're into into it so now back to the basic problem on how to update uh, the Kalias team. There are of course two ways, uh, actually three ways uh, you can um, now there's two you can uh, add like I said the Kalias options and the advanced uh, where you have to uh, specify the username and API key so the, the update is pulled from the Team Forest uh, servers or you can just manually do it Sorry. I will just drag the window right here and as you can see here I'm going to access the uh, Kalias dot or actually the Kalias. This is the new package. Uh, you will have to re-download it from Team Forest into your download section in your account and after you unzip the main package you will find this folder Kalias and you will have to just go back yeah. and this is uh, the uh, this is where I have the installation for 
um, this old version of Kalias, the 3.6.10 and I'm going to go to the teams folder and I'm just going to delete this one if you want you can do that but you can also backup like I said backup 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 always please backup it's a very important rule when working with files especially on um, on servers so great we now have replaced the uh, the uh, the Kalias folder so now just go uh, you just go to the dashboard and the or anywhere you want but this is what uh, will appear into your uh, backend team data update required we just need to update your install to the latest version and of course as always backup always backup so this will run an updater which will kind of convert the old page builder data to the new page builder data it's very important uh, you have to do this otherwise it uh, it won't work so just run the updater again did you did the did you made the full team backup no just do it <laughs> yeah just do it and um, that's because of course uh, some data loss may occur so you can now do it but like I said remember do a backup please it's very important okay and um, in I just remember something if you want a plugin that to to uh, make a back, uh, backup for you just hit the add new button right here into the plugins and search for duplicator plugin it's a very powerful uh, plugin I'm just going to install it now I will also activate it so you can uh, see how it uh, actually looks like and you can edit the settings right here and you have to create a new package try to follow the documentation of this uh, plugin and also there's another one called all in one um, WordPress my right yeah all in one VP migration this is also very popular so you can install it choose one of these two which you find um, much uh, I think this one is better I think I'm not sure because it splits the file into several packs so there won't be any uh, big uh, timeout so this is the interface of it now they're both free uh, thank you for um, uh, many thanks to these authors who um, dedicated the, their time to build these awesome tools so moving forward I will assume you already made a backup and let me just uh, refresh the uh, I don't know let's see homepage too as you can see the data has been updated you might see differences here and there but they're normal and uh, some of the elements have been dropped you won't see a big big change you will see small changes that will uh, be visible but um, they will uh, they will make your website much better so this is how to uh, update to uh, the latest version of the Kalias theme 
um, actually the update from the th uh, three versions to the uh, free uh, four uh, four point oh versions. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to. Uh, ask me and also if you have any troubles or you want to seek some uh, help Just subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you and uh, help you Onto the forums. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye